Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm not sure how I feel about this angle and lighting, so uh, bear with me. But anyways, we're just gonna get on with it. Yes, you read that title right. I am doing yet another Reorganizing My Shelves With Me video, but hold your horses. This isn't just any other Reorganizing My Shelves video, you know? This is gonna be a little more juicy, a little more spicy, because today I am finally getting new shelves. Yeah, I finally decided to get not one, but two new shelves for my room. You guys are like, how do you fit two more shelves into this room? Well, I made it happen, as you can see. Yes, I'm filming this intro after I finished everything, but I forgot to film one earlier, so here we are. But anyways, I thought it would be fun to take you guys along with me since you guys, you know, seem to really enjoy my reorganization videos regarding like my shelves and stuff. But yeah, I did vlog a little of me getting the shelves and then it'll just be me, be me reorganizing my shelves you know taking down my collection putting it back up i did some redecorating as you can see Tara, welcome to my new pick collage before we get into the video though i just wanted to say a quick little thank you because we just hit 50k subs like what I honestly can't even like process that properly because you know at the beginning of this year I think I wasn't even at 20k and then I remember in my collection goals video at the end of last year or beginning of this year I made it a goal to get like 30k subs at least and I I even thought that was like a far-fetched goal and here we are the year hasn't even ended yet and we are at 50k so I just wanted to say thank you Oh my god, I'm losing my breath. Thank you so, so much for 50k subs. Thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel, who watches my videos, who likes my videos, leaves nice comments, blah, blah, blah. Any way of supporting me, I am eternally grateful, obviously. So yeah, thank you so much for all your support and for this very big milestone. Like, again, it's insane. I don't know, like, I definitely want to do something in celebration of that, maybe like a giveaway or something. I haven't worked out all the details because, again, this was unexpected and it just happened. But yeah, again, thank you so much. Sorry to get all sappy on y'all, but I just wanted to say thank you. And if you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you'll stay and enjoy my videos. But yeah, let's just go ahead and I guess get my shelves. Let's just jump to the past where I went to Ikea and got my shelves, so. Enjoy the video! Hello, as you can see, we are at the glorious... I can't zoom in. The glorious Ikea. Or I guess Ike, because of this tree. Okay, so I'm currently here to get my new shelves. I was originally gonna get just one more shelf, but then I kind of had the idea to get like another Big Mama shelf, but like a skinnier one. I don't know, y'all see. I think the last time I was at Ikea was when I actually got my first K-pop shelves, the ones that I have in my room right now, like those three shelves. I think that was the last time I've been to Ikea. Like I haven't been since, yeah, like three years since I've been to Ikea. So kind of crazy how I'm back again for my new shelves. That's how much my collection has grown. I'm gonna try to do a little vlog. We'll see how it goes. So yeah, let's go. Are you even a K-pop collector if you don't have a Billy shelf? So I'm gonna get another one of these. And then I was also thinking of getting this skinny shelf, which is also a Billy, but it's just skinnier. So yeah, two times the storage, baby. I've always also kind of wanted to get like get one of these shelves or like these square ones, but I don't have enough room for these, so. But these are kind of cool, right? You got it. Oh, I got it. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, though. I don't know how I'm going to put this back in my car, though. It's so heavy.
y'all it fits oh my god i was honestly scared for half a second that it wasn't because my car is pretty small but i'm just really scared it might be too heavy now so like hopefully i can drive on the freeway with this but we did it it was the worst experience of my life because it was so heavy and i was all by myself but we did it okay let's go home now i'm back home ignore how musty I look right now, but I just wanted to show you guys the before state of my room because it's absolutely a mess. And obviously we wanna see the before and after once I'm finished. So this is the before state of my room. Um, ignore the mess because again, I wasn't planning on filming today. So there's been a little bit of changes since my last reorganizing my shelves video. Most of it is still the same, but since then my collection has definitely grown a lot more. And I've also run out of a lot of space, which is why I've gotten to more big shelves. So yeah, for example, this is my only big mama shelf that I have. Um, you can see I literally had to like stuff things in front of places. Look at this mess over here. I have like no space. This playbook, I have no idea where to put it. So I just like displayed it like that. My exo shelf has zero space and this bottom shelf is honestly a mess. Those 17 albums are not supposed to be there, but they only fit there. And then for these two shelves, all my binders are still here and my BTS shelf is a mess. There's an hype in and Super M and stuff. I had to put my Super M albums here. This girl group shelf is stuffed to the max. This twice shelf, um, clearly the formula of love shifted everything. So twice definitely needs like two shelves from now on since they have such a big discography. I also have my A5 binders and my Queendom albums plus my magazines and my Blackpink photo book. I have these giant sticker deluxe boxes I don't know what to do with. And you can see here, I literally put an extra shelf that we already had because as you can see, I have so many vinyls now. My vinyl collection has grown like 10 times as much as since the last time and I have no room. Also, if you guys remember, this is my corner of miscellaneous albums. This is definitely very ugly now. And also I have this random shelf of magazines for display. My situation is very crowded and messy, so that's why I definitely needed those two extra shelves. As for what I'm gonna do, this is what I had in mind and I'm praying that this works. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of these two things. So I'm gonna move this cart like somewhere else and obviously get rid of this shelf. And then I'm gonna take these two like little baby shelves and scoot them all the way to like where the cart is. So like shift it like all the way up to here. And then I'm gonna put my big mama shelf that I just bought over here. So I think I'm gonna like take this Hello Future collage that I made down, which is so sad because I really like this collage, but I'm gonna have to like, you know, redecorate and stuff. And also there's gonna be this big shelf covering it, but it'll be like a big shelf and then two little shelves. This is pretty much gonna stay the same. I'm just gonna like, like reorganize it. And then in this corner, this is where I'm gonna put the skinny big shelf. So remember how I bought a second shelf? I'm gonna put that here cause it actually does fit here perfectly. So I'm gonna put that shelf here. Yeah, that's what I bought those two big shelves for. That's my plan. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna obviously clean this out, take out everything and shift everything to the left. I don't think I'm gonna film it because the main purpose of this video is reorganizing my K-pop shelves and Y'all don't want to see me clean and stuff, so I'm going to quickly do that off camera and then I'll update once everything is done. Okay, so it's actually the next day. This video is a mess, sorry. So this is the update. Um, I was able to move both of my shelves to over here. So it's next to my desk. Excuse the mess. Obviously I'm in the middle of doing all this, so it's messy, but afterwards I will clean everything up. Don't worry, but yeah, I was able to put the two shelves here. And yes, this big shelf will be able to fit here. And as you can see, with the help of my dad, I was able to bring up both of those heavy ass shelves to my room. I don't know why, but I feel like building the shelves right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the shelves and I'm not gonna film it. I'll film like a little bit of it, but 
I'm just gonna do most of the building off camera because, you know, I look crusty right now. I don't feel like filming. So we'll be back when the shelves are built.
right, the room is all done. Now it's time for the grand finale. Turn the camera around. Woohoo! Yeah! My room looks like a K-pop store, basically. So yes, I actually did end up doing some little rearrangements here and there off camera afterwards because, I don't know, when I was organizing everything while I was filming, it was literally like 1.30 a.m. and my brain could not process properly. So I just did some like little tweaks here and there and now we are all finished. I also cleaned my room for this. So yeah, I guess I can do like a mini room tour video, even though the focus will be my shelves because that's what this video was about. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna like go really quickly so that this isn't too long, but I'll just like kind of explain things a little bit. And if you guys want to know anything specific, I mean, you could just leave a comment and I'll probably try to answer it. So yeah, anyways, starting with this Big Mama shelf. This was my OG Big Mama shelf as I'd like to call it. So yeah, so this is the one next to my desk. And in this shelf, I pretty much just put two groups. As you can see, I put NCT and Seventeen since they are like my old groups and also they have a huge discography. So anyway, starting off with these first three shelves are just dedicated to Seventeen. So on top right here, I have pretty much a majority of their discography like more of the bigger albums as you can see and also i ended up just keeping my extra copies here as well i don't know sometimes i'm too lazy to sell my extra copies so i just end up keeping it right there so there's that and then i also have my signed vernon love and letter album in the middle right here i also did end up adjusting like some of the shelves so that the heights are a little better so on this shelf is like smaller albums as you can see so we have um, like semicolon, the YMMD series, like Hengare, blah, blah. We have some Japanese albums here and then two of the Kinos. And if you're wondering why this is empty right now, I originally put that signed album, but I am getting their latest Japanese album in the mail. I actually joined a group order that my friend Carolyn was doing and um, there were member covers. So I'm just waiting for that to arrive and I'm gonna put Vernon's cover right there. So yeah, it's like a cute little display thing. So I'm leaving that there for now. And then this middle shelf here, which is probably the biggest shelf. You guys are wondering what's with this, what's the situation going on? I know it's not perfect, but I really, really wanted to make sure I had room to grow because that's kind of an issue I had before where like I just usually would just stuff things in there and wouldn't really organize it. But now that I have all this like extra space, 17, obviously, you know, they have a lot of comebacks and whatnot. So I feel like my collection would grow the most. So yeah, I also ended up putting the season's greetings box and the carrot membership box just to fill the space temporarily but if i need to i can always just take those out along with these like magazines and light stick here is my signed promo album and then i just have some extra albums over there along with my pickets that i have so yes this is my 317 shelves and then down here we get into <laughs> The mess that is NTT, like obviously NTT has like a non-stop amount of comebacks and albums and whatever. So these, this collection is always going to be growing, that's for sure. So this shelf right here, I try to put like as many of these sized like albums. So these pretty much are like the same size as you can see. We have like the group ones over there, like the whole group comebacks. And then we have um, 127. We have Dream and then I put Wavy over there. So yeah, I try to just like make it a little more consistent so it looks nice. This middle shelf here is for smaller things as you can see. So we have like a bunch of jewel cases. Jewel cases are probably going to be the, you know, next big thing for NCT. So I am prepared to fill those with the jewel cases. I still haven't gotten my universe ones for Mark and Jeno. So those will go in there as well. And then we have all of my Kinos, which looks so nice. Like. I just love how it looks so consistent and whatever. And then down here, I have my giant shelf. Again, I kind of put like, you know, season's greetings and, oh, I just realized I didn't even put the one to seven season's greetings in here, but it's fine. And the, like summer package, like these big box things, which are usually in my closets, I just put here to like temporarily fill up the space, you know, just so it looks nice and not so empty. But yes, these are like bigger items, like the photo books, the bigger albums. 
these giant <laughs> deluxe boxes and I put the light stick there as well. So yes, these are my NTT and 17 shelves. Moving on over to this area. I'm honestly so proud of this area kind of like I really like the way I um, made this like little collage thing. I think it's really cute. And then we have my Ataka poster over there. There's a little shelf over there of random shit. And then here is the first. Th this is what I like to call the little baby shelves. So, so this first shelf that's right next to my desk is more of like my personal collection shelf. That's like mainly not K-pop and whatever. So of course we have my beloved turntable, which, you know, I got back into vinyl collecting this year and clearly my collection has grown significantly. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just blast in some Christmas tunes since today is Christmas Eve, the day I'm filming this. So yeah, but anyways, the first shelf we have here are my Funko Pops. I did obviously arrange it so it looks different from what it looked like before. Plus I also got more Funko Pops since I last filmed. So it's a little crowded. I do want to get more of those shelf thingies, but yeah, I just recently started getting into Funko Pop collecting. I've always wanted to do it, but then I never really ended up doing it until now. Also, this one is in a box because I accidentally broke it <laughs> while I was rearranging things, so that's sad. I just like to not leave them in their boxes, so yeah, don't come at me in the comments, Funko collectors. And then this middle shelf obviously are all of my vinyls. Like I said before, I grew my collection a lot this year. And you guys saw like my collection as I was putting these away. There you go. Those are all my babies. And then down here we have all of my photo card binders. I decided to put my big inclusion binders elsewhere so I can put my A5 binders down here. Yes, there are some extra ones because there's another video coming soon on that. Stay tuned. Spoiler alert. But yeah, anyways, those are like my personal collection things. And then moving on to this little shelf. This top part is honestly kind of a mess. Ignore that. <laughs> I didn't know where to put that. So yeah, I just left it there. This shelf has Stray Kids, EXO, and BTS. So up here we have my Stray Kids shelf. Again, this is kind of like the room to grow part. So if I have more albums, I could just like adjust this. But for now, it's like that. And also ignore the fact that my um, Christmas Evil albums are still sealed. I still haven't opened them. I'm waiting for a haul video. So yeah, I just put it there just so like I know how it'll look like. Here we have my EXO shelf, which is literally filled to the absolute brim. Like honestly, I left it like this because I feel like there's not going to be too many EXO like things to collect in a long time, you know, since it's kind of, you know, the situation is kind of messy and also like half the members are enlisted. So yeah, Kai also just had his comeback, which also I did not unbox. I just put them there for aesthetic purposes. But I will unbox soon. Yeah, that's my EXO shelf. And then down here, we have my BTS shelf. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because obviously BTS will probably have a comeback soon. They are planning on having one. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I, I guess I'll just wait until the album comes out. But this is my BTS section for now. I think it looks really nice, you know? Alrighty, moving on to my second big mama shelf. This is obviously one of the new shelves that I bought recently. And I'm really glad I did because I really needed the space. So yeah, starting off. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, this is like my girl group shelf. So I put all of my girl group albums in here. Okay, starting at the top, as you can see, there's some stuff up there. I just decided to put my like, um, these are my binders for pocket pages. So you can see it's like one pocket page, nine pocket page, whatever. Plus my two inclusions binder, like my big inclusion binder. I just decided to put it up here for now. I didn't know where else to put it. So yeah, it's living up there for now. I don't really reach for these binders that often anyway, so it's fine. Moving down, we have my first two shelves over here, which are my twice shelves. I definitely needed two shelves for twice because their discography is just so big and also they're constantly having comebacks. So I thought I would give them, you know, a lot of space. And they recently started doing more versions. So, you know, this collection is definitely gonna be growing quick. Yeah, on the top here, you can see we have like similar sized albums. We have like the smaller square ones. I put Twice the Gram like that just to fill the space. And also Twice the Gram is like my favorite album. And then I displayed this Christmas one because it's Christmas time right now. So the second shelf has more like bigger albums over there. I still haven't opened my result file version, so I need to do that. Plus there's my OG light stick. And then I really like this Taste of Love cover, so I just put it out like that. 
Panning down to this middle shelf, we have my Red Velvet albums. Obviously, a majority of Red Velvet's discography is like small. Their, their albums are small, so I decided to put it on a smaller shelf. So we have like my bigger albums over there. And then these are like all small. And then I just put the Queendom album like that because I really like the design. So I just put it on display. So yeah, technically I don't need it even have all of Red Velvet's albums because they're like all out of print basically. So I'm still like slowly trying to get the rest of them. I think I'm missing like three or something like that. So yeah. And then moving down here, we have kind of like an array of albums. So first we have all of my Eyes One albums that are over there. And then over here, we just have like smaller albums, I guess. It's not really like a designated group or anything like that. We have like all my Stacey albums and then we have like smaller Blackpink, Itzy, Kinos, blah blah blah, and then we have my signed Chisu album, and then a mini Blackpink light stick. Down here we have the rest of my Itzy albums. We have Crazy in Love. I can't believe I bought this many versions. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, and then we have this signed um, Crazy in Love album. Uh, it's signed by Ryujin actually, which is very lucky since she's my bias. And I got that from Hello82. And then we have the rest of Itzy's albums. And then I decided to put like more miscellaneous albums here since they didn't really fit on my other shelf. So I put IU, Brave Girls, Chunga. So whatever fits there, I just put there. And then at the very bottom, this is like another giant shelf because these are for like bigger items. So we have my Queendom album since they obviously don't fit up there. We have like these bigger black pink albums and photo books, the rest of my bigger black pink albums slash solos. And then we have my Espa albums, which I have <laughs> multiple copies of because I bought a lot of different copies. I just put that how you like that Sandy there just to fill up the space. That is my entire girl group shelf. Again, there's a lot of room to grow so that, you know, I don't have to be worrying about space in a while. Alrighty, and then to close out the tour, we have my final shelf over here. This is what I like to call the Mariah shelf because Mariah Carey, skinny legend, haha. -ha. Anyways, I just put this three tier cart here for now. I don't, I don't know where to put this, so I, I'm just gonna put it here for now. There's just random shit in there, so don't worry about that. But yes. On this skinny Mariah shelf, we have my remainder of the light sticks up there. And then down here, we have my TXT collection, which, you know, I recently restarted. I don't think I'm gonna get the rest of their like older albums. I might get like the other two versions of Blue Hour, maybe, I'm not sure, but I'm okay with just having these albums, so. And then in the middle, we have an hype in. <laughs> I, I really like the consistency though. Like this literally is like, a perfect rectangle almost and then since i have a lot of extra copies if i you know need to like make more room they're having a comeback in literally january which is crazy but once i need the room i can always just take out those extra copies just put them in the back or something so and then down here we have like kind of like a split situation so we have got seven and then 80s since um i know this might be a little bit of like sad news but I am no longer collecting ATs and GOT7. I mean, I haven't really collected GOT7 in a while anyways, but I recently stopped collecting ATs, but I just kept their albums and I wanted to put them here. So we have all of my GOT7 albums here, like the bigger albums, plus their <laughs> debut <laughs> that's shaped like that. In the middle, we have a split between ATs, like their square albums, and then the rest of GOT7. And then over here, this is literally so satisfying. Like literally the rest of my ATs albums, they're all the same size and they all all fit perfectly on the shelf like can we take a moment to appreciate this this is so satisfying to me so yeah and it's kind of like a perfect like closing to my 80s collection you know the fact that it fits perfectly like this and then at the very bottom we have my miscellaneous stuff it's kind of a mess so ignore that over there i just put like some of my magazines that i have and then we have like super m we have random you know albums that i have there's some stuff back there it's kind of a mess, but again, this is just like the bottom corner, so it doesn't have to be super pretty, you know? But yeah, anyways, that was the Mariah shelf, and that pretty much wraps up my shelf tour in this video. I guess I can show you guys the rest of my room since it's been a while. I decided to change this poster to this pretty Peaches poster by Kai. Look at how gorgeous that poster is. Also ignore the ugly ass tinsel. I'm trying to decorate for Christmas, so. And then we have this like little grit situation here. It's not the best, but it's the best I can do. I have some Mark posters up there. Here's this collage again. 
and yeah that is pretty much it so yes that was the video yes i am filming my outro the same time as my intros bear with me here again but anyways thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys you know like the way it looks if you have any suggestions or questions or whatever feel free to comment them and i'll try to answer it or whatever and yeah once again thank you guys so much for all the love and support that i got this year and for just continuously supporting me and you know enjoying the content that i put out i really enjoy you know making content for y'all and that's why i do it so yeah thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos like this and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys